Jimmy, as crazy guy as he kind of is, he's so methodical. He's so methodical in everything he seems to do. I mean, they just brought out a photographic book. He just brought out a photographic book. He's got, you know, and he had all this stuff. And if he didn't have it, he hires researchers to go looking for, because <laughs> one of the researchers rang me up to say, have you got any pictures of the mill and all this sort of stuff, you know. He's very, very switched on, methodical and uh, eccentric, I would say. You know, he, he, he likes to get everything right and pre present it correctly and the whole bit, you know. Which is funny in a way when you then think about the music, the best music that he's known for, which actually is quite messy, if you like, and rocky and, you know, extravagantly all over the place but somehow comes together, you know, in the, in the tightness and the feel. But it's not, you know, it's not classical music, is it? It's not like, you know, everyone reading notes, which would, you'd, have th you'd have thought that would have been something, someone who's that uh, careful about everything might be more into, you know. But, I mean, it's very Larry, what he does. He's a Larry guitarist. Yeah. He's all, he's all over the shop with it, you know, nothing like, not like Clapton, if you like, who's more precise, you know. I mean, let's face it, look, it's a bit like when people start comparing racing drivers, you know, who's the greatest racing driver on earth? Who's the greatest racing driver that's ever been? Who's the greatest this or that and the other? And when you talk about guitarists, they're all different. They just had different styles, and that's what made makes it so great, you know, that it's still a bloody bit of wood with six strings on it. But between them, they managed to make it sound completely different, you know. Jimi Hendrix died at, what was it, 27? Yep. And, and, and let's face it, well, in my opinion, he, he, was, he was definitely the greatest guitarist of all time. I got to meet him, actually. I only got to meet him. Uh, really? Yeah, I got to meet him when he was, um, uh, he was playing on Steve Stills' first album because my mate Clive was engineering it at uh, uh, Island Studio, Basin Street, and, and Jimmy. And, and he was, like, really quiet, really shy, and... Listen, when he came along, you know, we used to have rows about who was the best guitarist, and it wasn't Jimmy Page, it was Eric Clapton or Jim or Jimi Hendrix. And as far as I was concerned, you know, it was it was definitely Jimi Hendrix. But you'd have terrible rows with people, you know. Oh, I can't be friends with you then. <laughs> what you don't like? What you're saying? Eric Clapton's a better guitarist than Jimmy Page? A uh, Jimi Hendrix? Well, you can puck off then because you're mad. <laughs> 